Hey, I need you to answer this for a second. What do you do when you don't know what to do? Have you ever felt like that? What do you do when you don't know what to do? I know I've been there. I've been there a million and one times. What do you do when you don't know what to do? And I think that Peter gives us the answer. What do you do when you feel like the end of your world is coming? He says this in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 7. He says, the end of the world is coming soon. Therefore, be earnest and disciplined in your prayers. Most important of all, continue to show deep love for each other. For love covers a multitude of sins. Cheerfully share your home with those who need a meal or a place to stay. Verse 10, God has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. What do you do when you don't know what to do? I think what Peter would suggest to us today in whatever circumstance we are in, I think he would tell us if we don't know what to do, if we're in a dilemma where we feel like the end of our world is coming, the first thing he would tell us is to pray. When you don't know what to do, spend some time connecting with God. You know, I think sometimes we can easily see prayer as a means to get a solution from God or get a resolution from God. And so we're going to pray and God's going to give us a resolution. But how many of you know that sometimes when you are praying, you don't experience the solution. You don't get the resolution you wanted. But here's what I found to be true in prayer. That though you may be going through a storm, though you may be going through a difficult situation, God may not always provide the answer, but what he will do is give you peace in the middle of what you're going through. Sometimes what God does is that he gives you peace that will sustain you when you're facing what you're facing. Not only that, he begins to develop your character to walk through the trials. He begins to develop who you are on the inside to face the giants that you're facing. So when you don't know what to do, don't stop praying. Continue to pray because it's in the midst of prayer that you're going to experience peace and it's where God's going to develop you and prepare you to face what you are facing. The second thing that he tells us is to love. He says love deeply because love covers a multitude of sin. I think when you don't know what to do, what God is calling us to do is to be consistent with who he created us to be. And that's agents of love. He says love covers a multitude of sins so that you would so that you would cover others, love on others, extend yourself for others. When you don't know what to do, connect with God, but also connect with people. Allow yourself to be loved by others and allow yourself to love other people. The third thing is he says, be generous. Share with one another. I don't know about you, but when when I don't know what to do, I ain't got time to be generous. Well, Peter says that it's in those moments where you feel like your world is coming to an end, that God is calling us to love, he's calling us to pray, and he's calling us to be generous. But the fourth thing that he's calling us to be and to do is to walk in our purpose. He says that God has given us a variety of gifts. When you don't know what to do, continue to be who God called you to be. Continue to walk in the assignment that God has called you to walk in, which means that no situation we are facing is able to stop us from walking in the purposes that God has for us. So when you don't know what to do, here's four things you can do. Be consistent in your prayer. Spend some time with God. Spend some time with people, loving on people and allowing yourself to be ministered to and loved by people. And number three, be generous. Don't hold back. As a matter of fact, lean in to be generous. And the last thing is to walk in your purpose. Hey, if this video blessed you in any way, would you like, comment, and subscribe? Make sure you're connected in some way. When you do, it allows or it tells the algorithm to share this with as many people as possible. And you never know the difference you can make just by simply engaging with this content. And if you want to support, make sure you check out our description. There are different ways you can support. I want to thank our sponsors, EST33, Establish 33, and we are grateful for them. They have partnered with us. And so make sure you check them out. The link is in the description. I'll see you in the next one. God bless.